is it possible in the near future uh, schools across Michigan will have to go back to just complete virtual learning for the rest of the year? Well, we're trying to avoid that. Um, you know, as a parent with a child in public schools and one on a campus in Michigan, um, I know that in-person instruction is preferable, to be sure. And yet, the nature of this virus is that it is still very present all across Michigan. And when we see spread that is happening here in the Upper Peninsula, some of it is happening in our K-12 schools. It's not unique to the UP. That's happening downstate. It's happening all across the country, frankly. The whole country is in some form of a state of emergency because this disease can grow exponentially real fast. We see that happening in Wisconsin right now. And that's why uh, we're, we're trying to make sure that we mask up so that we can stay engaged and keep our kids in school. But where we see growth, we're going to have to take action. And so the fact that kids aren't in school right now, it shows that the local public health department is doing what they need to do. I think Kate Beer has got a hard job, and she's doing it really well. Um, but it's really important that everyone in this community does their part, too. Absolutely. And, you know, with virtual learning, a lot of, like, as I said, a lot of schools have had to switch over to virtual learning and could potentially have to, you know, in the future. Um, but, you know, living in rural UP, sometimes, you know, you, like, internet connection mm -hmm. is an issue. Yeah. So what, what would be, um, how would you deal with that? How would, um, you know, how would you guide schools through a situation of that sort? So, I mean, we obviously had to take Herculean efforts in the spring when things, everything had to shut down. Um, we know that broadband is still uh, an, an issue in many parts of the state, clearly in the Upper Peninsula. And so we are making um, great strides in ensuring that there's access to broadband across the state. That remains a central um, focus of the work that we're doing as administration. Lieutenant Governor is overseeing a lot of that as he's the, the tech guy in the, in the administration. But I think that it's really um, speaks to, in this moment, in this pandemic, why this is an important equity, be, equity issue, right? Whether you're a, someone working from home or you are a parent who's got a student who needs to learn from home, broadband is a, a fundamental part of infrastructure in this, in this climate. Absolutely, and you know, as you were um, saying earlier, the state of emergency keeps getting extended. Um, and so, uh, I know a lot of people are asking, what would it take for you to stop extending it? What at what point will it, you be like, okay, this is it, everything will be fine? <laughs> yeah. I do. I'm, I want to know the answer to that too. Uh, you know, all fifty states are in a state of emergency right now. The the Trump administration has declared a federal state of emergency right now. Michigan is not alone, and I think that's important for uh, people to realize because sometimes it feels so lonely in this moment, thinking that this is unique here, and it's not. The whole country is in a state of emergency. Um, it's been the backbone to our COVID response. It's how we've saved thousands of lives and how we've gotten our economy in large part back on track. We're one of the top ten economies in the country right now. Um, but all of that being said, it's, it's precarious. We are barreling toward vaccines. Um, there are nine that are in human trials right now. Uh, we've got therapeutics that are being developed that will, if you get COVID, will help, like remdesivir. Um, there are others in the works. And so as those um, continue to make progress, as we learn more about the epidemiology of COVID, I believe that it's a matter of months before we're able to come out of the state of emergency. This will not last forever. And um, we just have to keep doing what we know to be the, the best way to stay safe right now. And frankly, it's, it's a mask. Right, yeah. And I was just going to say, you know, <laughs> I, got, I asked a couple, I asked a friend, you know, she was like, I was like, do you have a question that you'd like to ask her? And um, Governor Whitmer, and she's like, is there hope on the horizon for yes. 2021? There is hope. There is a great amount of hope. I think that we are seeing uh, pharmaceutical companies in a race. Um, and... They are, I, I believe, going to produce a, a number of vaccines that will be safe and effective. Certainly, time is of the essence, and yet we also know they got to get it right. And so doing this until that happens is important. But the fact that there are nine that are already in human trials means that I think we'll have a handful um, that will be proven effective and safe by the end of the year, and then they've got to ramp up the manufacturing, and then we're working on the distribution of them. That's... 
that's a Herculean undertaking in and of itself. But all of these things are working in tandem right now. And so when it happens, we'll be ready. And, and so I think that there's incredible optimism there. And, you know, I mean, it's, it, we can do a lot of normal things if we, if we mask up. We can go to the bowling alley and be safe. We can go to church and be safe. We can go to school and be safe. It's just simply making sure that everyone masks up because um, that's that's what we still have best to keep us safe. Got a lot more awesome. All right. Then my last question for you would just be, you know, what would you say to Michiganders who, you know, from you know just the past couple of months to right now in this moment, what would you say to Michiganders who, you know, may be struggling mentally, emotionally, mm -hmm. financially? What would you have to say to them right now? Well, I, there's no question that there's been a lot of sacrifice, and this is hard. Um, every one of us is feeling it, and every one of us has uh, stress that we're carrying that is just below the surface, and you see it in people, um, how we're treating one another, and that's why I'm being extra mindful to, to show a little kindness and grace. But there are people who I think are, are struggling with mental health challenges or addiction issues, and, and there is help, and you can go to... State of Michigan website and find some resources, um, but I think that there are a lot of ways that we need to seek out to have self-care, whether it's connecting with someone, whether it is learning how to meditate or getting some exercise, or you live in the UP. I mean, it, this is the best place to get outside and take a walk, even if it's cold. Put on the right gear and get out there because that too can can be helpful, but it's challenging, there's no question. And, um, and we're going to have to support one another as we, we come through this.